so where did David Cameron decide to start pumping himself up? Where? where? Did this happen? Yes. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> geographically, where? Was it in the ghoul area? <laughs> <laughs> He was visiting the Institute of Chartered Accountants. Oh, the yes, um, I see. Oh, yes. That's a really pumped up kind yeah, of place. Is exactly <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, do you want to have a little look at this? Yeah. yeah. And if I'm getting lively about it, it's because I feel bloody lively about it. And if you think I'm going to roll over in the next 10 days and let Ed Miliband and Alex Salmon rack that, you've got another thing coming taking a risk, having a punt, having a go. That pumps me up. <laughs> I think that passes for hysteria amongst the uh, accountants. Yeah. As well as being bloody lively and yes. pumped up, what yeah. else is David Cameron going to do? He's not going to put up taxes. He's not going to put it's, up taxes. It's more than but that, how is he going to ensure He's that going he to does? pass By an the act law of Parliament. to stop people like himself <laughs> putting up taxes. It's the most pathetic gesture I've ever seen. Saying, look, I can't be trusted not to just whack up income tax as soon as I get in. So I'm going to pass a law to stop me. <laughs> this is <laughs> it, Income tax, VAT and national, national, insurance. national insurance. yeah. You know, in any government that comes in, historically, the first thing they do is they put up taxes, cos they have to. And it's the only year you can do it where you're not worried about the election. So taxes will go up. He'll have to find some other ones. Or break the law and be arrested. <laughs> or maybe he knows he's not getting in anyway. Oh, the Kent police. <laughs> <laughs> George Osborne was very good on this in 2009 when, mm. uh, because Brown was talking about passing legislation. Yeah, Gordon Brown outlawed child poverty. Yeah. Gone. Thank God for that. <laughs> Don't have to worry about that anymore. It's against the law. No, it's finished. <laughs> the, the low point of the media coverage this week, I think, was the analysis of Samantha Cameron's feet. Oh, in yes. various newspapers where yes. there was a shot of her with her shoes off uh -huh. and there were big close-ups and, and all the experts were coming in to describe... There's thought of a slight yellowing of, of the toenails. Definitely a yellowing and could have been how caused... high heels were damaging her feet. Was it, was it in the Daily Mail? Was it, was it saying Labour poisons Sam's feet? <laughs> <laughs> um, which football team does David Cameron support? Aston Villa. Mm. Well, he doesn't really know, does he? <sighs> and he claimed to be an Aston Villa supporter, but mm. then he said this in a, in a speech. Where you can support Man United, the Windies, and Team GB all at the same time. Of course, I'd rather you supported West Ham. Uh, um. <laughs> 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 he seemed yeah. to realise he said the wrong thing. How did he explain his mistake? I don't support West Ham or Aston Villa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no interested in football. We played rugger where I come from. <laughs> but a lot of people watch football, so I pretended to have an interest in it in order to gain their votes. According to the Daily Express, they were decorated with pink ribbons, which might be a clue that they are expecting a girl. And that's just terrible stereotyping. It, it could just as easily have been a gay boy. <laughs>